I don't compress the golf ball. I'm not expecting miracles, but just to get some consistency to play within that field as opposed to pulling it left. So strike really, improving the strike a bit, which in turn is likely to get you a bit more distance and the golf ball by a bit better. If we want to be able to get some shaft lean compression on the ball, we're probably going to need to be over on our left side somewhere. And that's what you were just playing around with, but also freeing up the wrists to move in all planes. If you just take your club in your thumb and forefinger, you naturally right handed. So take it in your right hand. By moving side to side, laterally, we can generate momentum for this club. And that is going to then take some of the effort out of the swing. Instead of generating momentum with the upper body, we're going to be able to move and stop and then let this go. That's it. Now, can you let your hand travel more out towards Craig and stop so that the momentum can go that way? Yes. And we don't need to worry too much about the body here. We're just using the board to help us shift a bit. So if you just go heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, opposing like this. That's it. Get a sense of that. You can relax the arms, don't need to. That's it. Can help you balance. Just walking back and forth, back and forth. And then with that, we can let that belt buckle rotate. How does that feel? Okay on the back? Yeah, like that? it's fine on the back. You can just feel the stretch out. Yeah, you yeah. Feel like it's actually being used. Yeah. Take your left hand off and just start with the club there ish. And then just get it swinging. See how you can use that footwork and that pelvic action to get that club swinging. Yes. Just letting that club react. Look how light that is. You're going to have banged and then that's going to swing and then you're going to bang opposite way and then that's going to swing. Opposite swing, opposite swing. And just, just spend a bit of time in this space getting a sense for the timing. What moves first? What reacts? Yeah. Nice. What do you sense? <laughs> Engagement before. How long this? It seems like it takes ages for that club to come through. Yeah. After the, that's the little bit that's <laughs> thrown me. That, yeah, absolutely. We want to allow this end of the chain react to this end of the chain. So essentially there's an action goes on down here, and then there's a reaction with the club. We don't want this to be the action and this to be the reaction, yeah. which is what it was at the start. We actually want this to be the action and this the reaction. And if it's a reaction, it's got to be after the action has taken place. You're going to move and do something, and then after that, this is going to react. That's why it feels later and longer and like you've got more time, because essentially you're doing something and then this is reacting. So yeah, just getting a sense for it and how late that is, yeah. And now, in our practice swing, feeling like we're swinging it out to the right. So now we're integrating the, the lower body movement, that torque from the ground, which is essentially what we've just been doing, that heel toe to rotate the pelvis. Nice. Great movement. It really does. It looks so different. So different. So, put the ball in. <laughs> and, don't, and we're not placing any importance right, on where this ball goes, you can top it, thin it, shank it, whatever. Motion. Yeah, and, and at about a three quarter pace, just so that we've got a better sense of what's going on. So like I said, we're not interested in the ball flight. We're just interested in how this movement feels. Felt, what, what did it feel? Effortless and so good. Aw awesome. Effortless. Li li literally. That's, that's a nice thing to feel, isn't it? Effortless and so good. Yeah. So we're going to perform the action and the club yeah. is going to have the reaction. Oh, that's nice. Shot. Oh, Keith. 
successful with the short lines. I know we've said we weren't interested in the ball flight, but that was yeah, gorgeous ball flight. <laughs> 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 but it's really good movement as well, back into the middle. That is such a good shot. Oh, okay. Awesome. What well I, it seems this has taken so long. Yeah, it feels like you can have yeah, a cup of tea. <laughs> it feels like it's so late. Brilliant. And it's trusting. It's trusting. Exactly. Like that. And that will come yeah. more and more through practice. practice. Yeah. And I was a bit. I didn't get my. I didn't engage my feet then as much. All happened at the same yeah. time, pretty much. Which is fine. Bit. And that's that's the old pattern, and it's going to break through every now and then. There you go, back on track. Beautiful little draw to the 150. So much better. <laughs> <laughs> it's a functional draw now, instead of those horrible little pull draws. And there we go again. That is such a good goal. Oh, it's so good. You're using the 8 iron now, aren't you? Yeah. And that's going same as the seven. Same as what the seven was when yeah, you walked in. Cool. So that's about a club difference. And also, just feel when we look at the vertical force, hopefully that will ramp up a bit more. Even. <laughs> I think I'm actually. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Y
has gone left. If we want to play a draw with a driver, we're going to need to shift that whole swing direction even further to the right to get that out there. Don't worry, it's right. going to happen. So essentially we're going to swing it even further right and we're going to sense that club face closing and we'll see what happens. What happened there, objectively? Not in terms of movement, but in terms of how that club was delivered to that, the ball. I, I felt that that just come through open. Yeah, that, yeah so that, face was open. Back, back to what I normally... It's the old swing, basically, yeah. yeah? Nice. Path was left, face was open to the path. You got the, the classic fade. Good, and hold it now that you're in balance. You stay there, arms hanging, so don't, don't move your arms, don't grab this club just yet. Now take your grip from there. Does that feel any different in terms of your setup? Yeah. Very, of course it's narrower because yeah. I put the, I put the pads together. You feel my more? My hand, yeah. I'm over and lower. Over and Hands yeah, lower. Closer. Yeah, and if you notice now, I'm just gonna push you a little bit, you can resist. Yeah bit more stable and I'll push you in different directions and in fact you can push against me and then if I let go you can stabilize still yeah. a lot more balance a lot more ready so we set up for this ball feeling what we just felt on those pads in terms of you're a bit more flexed through the pelvis your chest was a bit more over you're nicely in balance I couldn't push you over because believe me this club is going to put a lot more force on your body than I just have That's it. That's a great oh, shot, Keith. Keith. <laughs> that is mad. I don't think I could actually hit a ball then. It felt, I feel so close to that ball as opposed to where, yeah, where yeah. I've been. Because you were just so far, it's just the other extreme, isn't it? I mean, really all, all we are doing today is just taking you to places you don't currently go. And you can go down more, you can drop to pop a bit more. Wow, that's got some whip to it. <laughs> but we can just swing it more right is all. It's crazy how far right you can swing this. Yeah. yeah. So for me, for me, I feel I'm really going to have to come around here. To... Yeah. yeah. Why not? If that's what it feels. Try it. Try it. Because <laughs> that's, that's essentially your body telling you. That's essentially your body putting a, sub, a, a, a thought in your conscious. There you go, look at that. Oh, okay. oh, Jesus Christ indeed. He would be proud of that one. Oh, that is big. He would be proud of that one. Mad, to go to that space. 250 was the target. Where did it land on 250? Pretty much. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, you felt like you were swinging over there, but it's giving you a beautiful little draw right at your target. What a, oh, what Keith. an unreal drive. Key. That, I mean, it don't get better than that, mate. And notice this finish now as well, not, not the actual kind of finished position, but just the sense of, you'll notice it on your video watching it back, that was, you were watching it and the club was just doing this. Oh wow. I mean, bang on. There you go. You missed the middle of the fairway by about three quarters of an inch there, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Happy with that? Thank you so much. Well done, Keith. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for making George. the trip. Well done, awesome. mate. Thank you, well done, mate. That's brilliant to watch. Really giving me something I can go and work on. Good. And, and that now. As we've said it three or four times a session, that's that's the whole purpose of this session. Thank you so much, guys. Brilliant, Thanks mate. for making well the trip, mate. Well, well, done. well done. It's really awesome. opened. Good. Open good, good, good. If you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils, you can purchase the GRFI system yourself by following the link in the video description. You'll get all the equipment and a two hour download covering all the fundamentals, exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces and transfer them through to club head speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos.